Hi YouTubers, Medit is here. In this video, my topic will be on Macintosh and Mac OS related things. I'll be covering briefly a built-in tool on Macs. It's called Apple Hardware Test in models up to 2013. However, it's named as Apple Diagnostic Tool. Also, I'll be demonstrating how to use target mode as well as talking on what is it and how to use it. Without further delay, let's get started. So here is our iMac. Let's say our iMac is having some issues. So what we're going to do is we just we start to determine any hardware issues that we can see. So upon boot up, you can hear that Apple's specific sound when you are booting up Apple device. So whenever you hear that sound, you, st you start pressing D button on the keyboard. So whenever you start pressing D button on the keyboard, you will have this beautiful screen of languages to select. You, as usual, go for English or any other language you prefer. So it will start diagnostic directly. In newer versions, it's known as Apple Diagnostic Tool, but in earlier versions, before 2013, it's known as Apple Hardware Test. So you can run this test to determine any hardware issues that is happening in your Mac or iMac or Mac Mini, Mac Pro, you name it. So after result, as a result, after a few minutes, you'll have this screen with detailed reports. And based on that report, you can troubleshoot your MacBook further. Now I'm going to talk about target boot mode. Target boot mode is very useful in case you have some failures in your system so that you can back up your data and everything. Now how to get to that target mode, target boot mode. So we go to system preferences, boot disk, and here you can see target disk mode. And as you can see, my hard disk is named as Macintosh HD which I'll rename now so that it's easier to identify when, you, when we are connected to another MacBook or iMac. So I'll go to computer and rename my uh, Macintosh HD to Medes HD. And here we go. After that, I'll restart my PC. And while it's restarting, there is one key button to keep on pressing so that we can go to the target mode, which is T on a keyboard. So you keep pressing T whenever you hear Apple sound and it will come up with the logo that I've shown just now. But due to capture resolution, it's not... First of all, to go to target mode and make use of target mode, you need two Apple products. Must be Mac, Mac running OS. And you need Thunderbolt cable that is, that is shown on you in the display, which you will connect between two Macs using Thunderbolt port. Now, when you are connected to Thunderbolt port, you'll get this uh, pop-up forcing you to type your password for the HDD to, to access and you can see it's Medet's HDD. I'll type my password, admin password, and here we go. We can simply connect to that hard disk of my MacBook as an external, external hard disk and we can access on all the data that is inside that hard disk. So now I'm going to go to desktop and as you can see everything is there. And what you can do using target mode is you can transfer data with super fast speed. Thunderbolt, uh, Thunderbolt cables can transfer data with 10 gigabits per second. So here we go. We can just simply drag and drop four videos within, within a blink of an eye. So not only that, uh, you, can, you can copy entire, entire hard disk to your entire hard disk data to your another PC in case your uh, PC is having some issues. Now, another thing that we can do, which is quite fun, is uh, we can check how is, uh, what is the status of the hard disk that is connected using Thunderbolt. What are the capacity, what are the, what are the specifications of it, and everything. So you can see it's, uh, it's not really hard disk, it's SSD, but anyhow, uh, yeah. When you are ejecting, hard disk from the PC, you have to press the button. Only after that you can disconnect Thunderbolt, otherwise you might lose some data. And now we are going to awesome part, which is booting to external hard disk using target mode. So you go and restart your PC. While you are restarting, you keep on, you keep on pressing Alt option button, and you will have that screen that came out just now, which you can uh, select your hard disk. Once you select Medet's SSD or any other SSD, you name it, uh, or HDD, you can boot to your PC, not PC, you can boot to your macOS using another macOS. Isn't it amazing? Everything will be same, even the configurations and everything. Uh, you can see the desktop of my MacBook, and which is right now being connected to iMac and being captured on iMac screen. 
I hope you guys learned useful stuff. If you have any questions, you can comment below. I'll try to help. It's been tips and tricks from Minute. See you next time.